Hey folks, this is Nova Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. It's kind of an awkward start to this episode for me, because I haven't seen very many comments from the last one. Um, YouTube kind of died as far as uh, their reporting of comments. So I had nothing that came in until, oh, just a couple minutes ago, I got my first one. Um, some of the comments come to me through Gmail. YouTube will send a notification that someone left a comment, and, and will leave at least the first part of their comment in an email. And those of you who have got your YouTube channel set to private, I don't get any notification at all that you have sent a comment. So if I don't happen to stumble across it accidentally in my uh, video manager, then I'll never see them. But I did get a comment from Kathra through Gmail that we could take out this mega sloth here, but if it does revenge, if it does, uh, you know, that's the small odds of it saying, uh-uh, and uh, come at us and gets to us, it'll pretty much one-shot us. You know, they're, they're that strong. So one swipe and Rabbit will be digging him a grave. So if we do go after him, we want to hit him from several different points. And if he does pick one, zero in, and start chasing, then basically kiting, just let that, that person take a run while the other people keep shooting at it till they take it down. So I know how to take it down. I just don't know if I should because the rest of you haven't been able to get to me to say, but he's cute and cuddly. Don't you dare shoot him. So I'm, I'm not going to even do that one just yet. <laughs> and Natalia did get to me through Facebook to let me know that uh, when they do equip a, a log or a, a wood, which we have none on the map anymore. Are they in here? Nothing. Right there. Okay. That it's basically, I think it's eight points of damage. So they will use it as a weapon. I've just never seen it done because I've always had weapons on my, my colonists so never run into that situation um, what other comments made it in Shatigo was asking about something that I noticed too when I was editing when Amelia was over here and it showed negative 15 in red I misread that let's go to her and see if we can't figure that out Amelia and social this negative 15 I mistook that as thinking that it was related to Klaus and actually it is <laughs> see right down there we have the uh, you know I see hostile the end so the noble alliance you can see in the pop-up box but so she's hostile to the noble alliance but the first number which back then wasn't showing we were only seeing the negative 15 which was weird or if it was there it was very very faint kind of like the red is faint right here but he had a plus 12 with her when he first went to talk to her back in that other jail cell. And then when she revolted and prison break, I wasn't seeing anything there. I was only seeing the negative 15. I thought it had to do with being hostile. In reality, the first number is her point of view of Klaus. The second one is Klaus's point of view of hers. And, you know, right back at you, lady. He thinks negative 15 of her. She's hostile. He's not happy with her at all. So that's what that's about. So she's liking him because he's being nice to her, but he's he's doing it um, uh, because it's his job, not because he uh, he's really thrilled about the situation. So that's what that was. That's what these two numbers are. And if we look at Handy, we'll see that she's not happy right now with Klaus or Shantigo. She's neutral now with Sangria and Tomislav, and she's still positive with Rabbit. Had a nice chat with Tomislav, so I think he was a negative before, so I brought him back to neutral. And Sangria also brought them back to neutral. They're really liking her, but she's, <laughs> she's a little fed up with them. Anyway, that's what's up with that one. And also, um, I'm running on pause right now because I want to show you something over there. And I don't want to spoil the surprise, so I'm not letting it run. Because if it runs just another 10 seconds, we're going to get a whole different surprise. One I, I'm trying to avoid. But uh, another thing that Natalia wrote in about was getting clothing to the prison cell. And that's something I wanted to do this episode anyway. We do have one shirt available. At least I think it's still available. Klaus doesn't have a shirt on, so he could very well have walked over and picked it up and put that on. But if it's still there, we can put a um, storage... What's it called? Zone? A stockpile. Storage stockpile right here. And set it up for shirt. 
and they'll deliver the shirt to it, she'll automatically grab it and put it on. And then we could set it up for pants if uh, Handy gets any pants made, and it'll show up there too. And also, I want to get all the prepackaged meals over here. It's a great way to use those up. She will feed herself if she's mobile. You know, she won't if she's stuck in a hospital bed, but if she's able to get around, when she's hungry, she'll grab a meal and go and sit, sit down at the table and eat and keep her happiness up, which is doing pretty good. Her mood is definitely climbing. So it's like being, you know, imprisoned, but oh well. Um, otherwise, very comfortable, decent prison cell, decent dining room. Okay. So we'll, we'll work on that this episode, too. But one thing I do want to think about, you know, besides hunting this mega sloth over here, is we need to clean out some uh, some bugs. Mostly because, you know, though it still says they're not reproducing. I don't know when, if there's a timer and suddenly this will start reproducing, or once we interact with them, it will change. But for the most part, I don't want someone to accidentally walk through here. I had... Um, forbid that, that pistol in there so that nobody would go pick it up. But when I was setting the hunting on the the pig and the uh, the turkey in here, I got to thinking afterward, you know, I, I, here's the turkey, looks like it's already been shot. Um, what would happen if one of those two animals went up to the very top up there and then the hunter went in like Klaus over here and hunted it and then decided to go home right through the bugs yeah so we need to get rid of these in fact i think that just kind of needs to be done right now let's draft klaus and send him up into here and then can i waypoint i don't think i can but i'm gonna try if i were to hold shift and do this and then do that ooh, it does waypoint all over the place okay Shift, and I'm, I'm clicking the right click of the mouse. Now, how do you erase the way? <laughs> how do I erase my, my puzzle there? Um, draft, undraft. Okay, let's try that again. So let's send you to there, and then send you to actually over to here. A little distance from there. And then over to here. Um, though I would love to get a sniper rifle on you. You've got the... This guy right here, which gear and that one, you've got a distance of 31. That's not bad. That's one of the better distances in the game. Okay, well, we'll, we'll let that happen. You're going to go over there, hopefully stay away from them long enough. Uh, Rabbit, let's change plans on you. Let's have you come over and grab this sniper rifle. Now... Shantigo and Tomislav have sixes on their their character, uh, on their shooting. What does Handy have? She's also a six. Though Tomislav and Handy have passions for it, Shantigo does not, so he's not going to gain skill as fast as the others. And Sangria is a three. Okay. I have another sniper rifle here. Let's... Handy is actually on her way from last episode to go get a pistol. Let's have her temporarily... Hmm... Let's have her equip the sniper rifle. Is there still a charge rifle out here? There is not. Okay. And... Otherwise... So that's... That's Rabbit. That's Handy. Tomislav and Shantigo. You guys are both set up with the charge rifles. Why don't you guys come on out over here and get ready to back up Klaus just in case something weird happens but while the other ones are still getting their, their weapons. And Sangria. I'm thinking you'll pick up whatever the others drop. Temporarily. I was going to say a pistol, but I don't... What Rabbit's going to drop something. Uh, in fact, let's just draft you and hit, take bring you over here. Okay, Handy... Why don't you draft and come on up over here as well. Actually, I want to set up two groups. Let's go over there. And, Rabbit, you're going to drop off this guy. So, Sangria, you are there. I want you to equip this assault rifle. And, Rabbit and Handy, both of you. Alright, let's set up a group over here. 
another group over there. As one starts shooting, they're going to come out. The others will start coming in from another angle, and we'll see what they do. Um, animals. Animals. Sienna has attached to Sangria. Okay. Uh, let's turn off the Follow Master while drafted. Right there. And let's set you guys to there and there. So Sienna, if we hit social, was trained by Sangria but is bonded to Handy. Okay. And yet Sangria is the master. So what's the difference between master and bond? I would think that those two would be synonymous, but they're not. Is Sam bonded? Or Ham. Ham has not bonded with anybody, but his master. Interesting. Okay, let's look at this another way. Handy has bonded with Sienna. If something happens to Sienna, Handy is going to feel like she's lost a family member, and she is going to, her mood is going to tank, and she's going to have all kinds of problems. So we don't need we don't want anything to happen to Sienna, but Ham has not bonded anybody, so he's not attached to Rabbit in that sense. Interesting. Then let's attach him to Sangria, at least for now, since it's very likely as only a three in shooting, she's not going to be diving into a lot of the battles. So let's do that. It won't change anything. But what's interesting is that Sienna is bonded to, to um, Handy, but she's not with her all the time. I don't know. You'll have to fill me in on, on the little nuances there. Because I assumed that Bonded meant that was their master, and that's who they wanted to be with as often as possible, and they get a, a mood debuff if they're not around each other. That was my impression. And this ostrich is coming to help us. Hmm. Anyway, so what are we doing? Let's get folks moving. We're waiting for Sangria to do that. And then can I right-click and say head over to, or shift and right-click to here? Oh, you guys aren't supposed to start yet. Come on, give me a chance here. All right, you guys, move into position right here. And so I guess they're automatically considering them an, an enemy. You two both have the sniper. I don't need you that close, really. Let's... Let's go to here. Now, did you make contact? You are just wandering. Okay, you did not make contact yet. Okay, that'll give Sangria a chance to, to arm up and get over there. Now, I want to make sure that nobody's ever in front of somebody else as far as uh, crossfire and t hitting each other in the back. All right, you... Okay, so you actually are part of this group over here then. Yeah, you head this way. Now, you guys cannot make contact then right you can't all right well let's go over here then go until they're in range you'll see that when they're in range you guys are going to take them out as they come flooding out of here all right you got that right that's the plan all right this is where i hit save <laughs> where'd that other bullet go i didn't see that it looked like it stopped right here All right, here we go. And you are heading in toward Klaus. You are attacking a torch lamp. Attacking torch lamp. Torch lamp, torch lamp, torch lamp. There's no torch lamps around here. There's one there. And there's one all the way down here. Okay, that's a little random. I'm going to take out that torch lamp. Huh. You guys are both... You are bound and determined to destroy us, aren't you? Now, the dogs did go in here, right? Yeah, they're in there. There's no other peoples around. There's no pets around. So, really, it's just property destruction. We did take out this guy. We did not. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you guys turn around. Attacking Handy. Because Handy, what, just shot you in the butt or something? Uh, Mega Spider duck behind... Okay. 
Handy shot the Mega Spider with her sniper rifle. The Mega Spider ducked behind the nearest piece of cover. Handy sniper rifle bullet missing. But they took offense at that. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys should be in range soon. If we were to click on, say, Klaus with his assault rifle and click that, you'll see we're in range now. All right, here we go. And we're out of here. <laughs> you guys go up there. All right, minor break, Chantigo. What? How could Shantigo not be having a ball right now? Needs, what is it? Disturbed sleep, uh, awful bedroom, hot. 92 degrees. We're getting hot out here. Interesting. He's wearing a jacket. Don't mean to, to uh, stop the, you know, the, the action right here, but I'm curious about something. If they get rid of their jackets. Um, temperatures. What am I looking for here? I don't know. I'm not seeing degrees in any of this. Normally the clothes will, will give you an insulation factor or something. So I'm not seeing where this is going to make him hot. It's not written here. Huh, I don't know that answer. Can we cool him down by just taking off a jacket? Otherwise we're going to have to make dusters or something to cool him down or cowboy hats. Anyway, you guys continue running up and then head over there and then head back over here never mind now is that all of them yep we lost one in here okay one there one there one there and another one down in this area somewhere right right there okay so that is it you guys really can undraft we'll have to sort out the weapons again soon but um I think that is it. Nobody took any injuries. Yeah, we're good. Okay, you guys go ahead and do what you want to do. We need to unforbid these guys. Let's zoom out a little bit and take all three of these at once. Right there, unforbid those. The meals automatically will say, uh, not the blueprint, fueled stove, bills, meals, details. They'll automatically meet, shut down, insect meat so that's no longer a thing though the butcher table not a wood floor print bills kibble details raw food we could say don't use anything now but the uh, uh, the insect meat the only thing is well I forget to turn that off again when the insect meat runs out but where are you at? I right there. We'll do that until we run out of it. Until we use it up. Okay. It's a good use for that. Okay. Because they will butcher all of them. Now, okay. Handy, what are you doing? Oh, you're just trying to get across the river. Rabbit, you are harvesting strawberry plants. Ooh, strawberries are coming in. Shantigo, you are cleaning dirt. <laughs> it's kind of funny when they go outside to clean dirt. But... They're doing it because architect, zone, home zone. This is our home zone. When you want them to clean, there was talk one time of putting cleaning into its own zone, but I'm pretty sure that was only a mod. Yeah, that's not a thing in, in vanilla. But when they clean, they'll clean whatever's in their home zone. This is now home zone. We built these two, so this just became the home zone. And when they go to fight fires, they'll only fight fires if it's in their home zone. So we got a big fire burning right out here. They're going to act like nothing's going on until it touches that one square right there. Then all of a sudden, eh, oh, eh, and panic, and everyone's running out there to put out that one little square of grass. Raging forest fire, one little square of glass. It's funny. <laughs> but <laughs> that's how they think. They think in blue fields. Yep. All right. So um, turn this off. Um can I there thank you turn that off and animals you guys can all go back outside like so all right what are we doing this episode now that that crisis is done we're checking this still not reproducing okay 
Did anybody go to get that turkey? No. Let's have somebody hunt that turkey. Um, who? Did I just hear a bang? Like, gun gunfire off in the distance? Klaus, where are you? You are, are convincing Amelia. And I'll go right back to that. But Rabbit, you are doing this. Okay, let's go talk to, or watch Klaus first. So Amelia and social. 57 so far. Listen to Klaus build rapport with me. Klaus still is probably going to remain negative 15 until they, until she is no longer hostile to us. And Natalia had said, I think it was Natalia, said that uh, when they hit 100, that will go away. So until then, okay, what was that? 5.5% chance because she prisoner still 64%. That's not that difficult, but I guess only after we get past that that 100 uh, plus 100 and um, get rid of the hostile, then it's you know a little bit better than than one in two chance of of pulling it off, or a little worse than. But um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I've lost that now. Klaus is butchering. Klaus, I need you to finish your job out over here, taking that one down while it's dead. It just died. Okay. So he is gone now. Um, not refrigerated. We need to get him in. So I'll have you haul it in. But let's haul it while passing through here. So where are you, Klaus? Go, well, draft. Go here. Actually, undraft. If I tell you to go get this, which path will you take? Prioritize hauling. You will take this path. What happens when we walk by this? Does it activate this in any way? If not, then we'll just go over here and destroy it. Usually what happens inside of your base when these things spawn is they'll start reproducing more bugs and you've got a, a time limit to, uh, to get rid of it. I want to know if our presence in here, we, we haven't walked through this yet, will cause some change here. It does not. Okay, you have got an assault rifle with you. You do. Let's draft you and take this. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this first. Let's... I can't haul? Why can I not haul the insect jelly? I should be able to put that in the fridge. Which I need to expand this, but... Insect jelly, where would you be listed? Meals raw... Hmm, under raw, animal products. That sounds viable. Insect jelly, it's on. So it will take insect jelly, but I can't get a pop-up saying that you can haul this. Consume and go here. Oh, you're drafted. That's why. There we go. Let's haul these two away from here. I'm going to have you shoot at this thing and put it away. What are you? A glow pod. A... Bioluminescent pod produced by giant insects glows under its own light for a long time, then dies. Interesting. So, do you use that as a as a light? Can I say put this here, uh, claim it, and then can I what reinstall it? I guess would be the way. Let's claim it, and then yep, right there. Reinstall it at a certain place. Interesting. Okay. I've never seen those before. Where do we want a glow pod? I mean, I don't really have a use for one right now, but uh might be kind of fun. <laughs> Let's just put you in place of this light. Yeah, we'll turn that light off. We'll put you right there. And then you, well, I could say turn off power, but it may be next episode before they actually move this thing. So I just have to remember later to turn that off. And then you guys let me know if there's a specific use for that. Like it, you know, if you put it in a bedroom it makes them happier by the time they get up the next morning or something like that that I don't know. Anyway, Klaus, you can drop that now. I just wanted to make sure it didn't get destroyed by all of your missed shots. Now I need to move that too. Uh, okay. Never mind. We'll have somebody else do this. You undraft and come on over here and, and put this away. So prioritize hauling. And now I want somebody else like Tomasov, what are you doing? 
and I've got something I want Tomislav to start doing. Let's get some research going. But let's have him install this. He's going to go up there and get it. And actually, he is now carrying a charge rifle. We could have him take out that nest, that hive. That's possible. All right, we had a failed, oh, failed training. 48% chance of training. Oh, Ham's right there. It's like, training the Megasloth? No. Training the Rabbit? No. Okay. That makes a little more sense. Um, Candy, you are grabbing supplies to build plants. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Are these guys ready? 96%. We almost have a good supply of those now. Good. Okay. Um, Shantigo, you are consuming a simple meal, and now you're cooking a simple meal. Instead of hauling in five of these, do me a favor. Haul in as many as you can. Uh, right there. Grab a whole pile of them. They like to do that. They like to get just the amount that they need. You can catch them in the middle of that and tell them to haul. They'll go and haul the whole, you know, a whole bunch of them in. We have rice over there that needs to be hauled in, too. And hauling in two. Let's haul into um, stockpile. Click. And then go ahead and expand it into all of there. And into there. Okay, eventually we'll fill this whole area up. Now we got more room. All right, so if we can catch Rabbit before he leaves, we can have him haul a big pile of these in, too. And Tomislav is, has packaged up the glow light thingy and is bringing it down here. So we can go ahead and put an order to toggle power off on that one. Handy likes to... Anybody who has just stopped an order and gets a flick command... Flick is all the way over here. That that supersedes anything out in the rest of their orders. All right, that is in, and that's now off. And don't know if there's enough light there, though. Let's look at it this way. Light's only fifty percent, so that's not necessarily a good thing for what they're doing over here. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's. If there isn't a hygiene problem, let's reinstall this over here, and then turn this back on. Designate power. Somebody's going to get the command to run back over there and do that. And Rabbit, where are you at? Yeah, I caught you. You thought you were getting out of there. Haul those in, please. Thank you. All right. Um, Sangria is hauling a Mega Scarab in. Good. And Handy is putting in some wood flooring. Oh, great. Let's get this, pretty, this area cleaned up. Now, iron, we've still got over 800. I feel like I need to get some pathways around here. They spend a lot of time kind of walking around here. Let's go ahead and put in floors, concrete. Concrete's not the prettiest stuff, that's for sure. But minor break risk and send you at least to there. I don't want to disrupt the garden. Um, this area is all going to be floored. We could run a pathway up through here and they would kind of walk through that. Hmm. You're bringing that in. Did Klaus ever make it in? I think he did. Amelia's over there. Klaus. There you are. What's she up to? You are attempting to recruit Amelia again. Great. And speaking of, she would be much happier if she wasn't naked all the time. So let's... Um, what do I want here? I want zone and I want stockpile. So let's do what I had mentioned. Right over here, we're going to build a stockpile. In it, we're going to clear all. We're going to make it an important uh, um, priority. And we're going to put in a shirt. Because we still only have just one shirt, right? We have none. Never mind. Okay. Well, the next shirt that gets made is going to get put there. So, turn off foods, work our way through apparel. And we were making shirts. Which ones? It was t-shirts. Yeah. So the t-shirts are going to go there. Pretty sure it was t-shirts. Um, there. Handy's working on one right now. She's working on an unfinished turkey leather pants. <laughs> so are we're, we're, oh, because I moved pants in place of shirts. Yeah. So turkey, we had just enough to do one job and it's going to go into pants. And that's something that Sangria needs, too. She probably should get it before a prisoner gets it. Okay, so we're going to wait on that one. 
though it might be hmm yeah we'll just wait we'll come back to that one i guess i could though get the meals brought over there let's do that instead with this one so storage and turn that one off and let's turn food meals uh package survival meals all right we're gonna move all those into there klaus um health let's see gear you have now got a raccoon leather t-shirt on. You've got it. Hmm. We'll see. Minor brick. Risk. Was right on the verge and it went away. So, Shantigo. Well, we'll see what happens here. What's the, the little message that pops up? Otherwise, I guess I can click once. Okay, I can do that. Needs, we can still watch this. Rebuffed by ugly environment, negative five. Oh, what happened there? Six point five percent. So the the chance of doing it is getting better each time that she likes Klaus more. Okay, that's happening. Her <clears throat> her needs are still kind of low. She needs food and she needs rest. So that's going to be happening soon too. And beauty will happen when this gets triggered to be uh, day lily. And nothing I can do to trigger other than just telling somebody to go do it. Rabbit, that would be a planting job. Rabbit, what are you up to right now? You're over here. You are resting. It is 2200. Can I get you to do this before you call it done? Sewing area. That'll be your last job for the night. And before anybody else comes up with, you know, decides to go to bed. Uh, Sangria, what is your run speed? 4.61. Actually, Handy's got the best run speed. Resting. Handy, why don't you haul these guys? That way they won't get eaten over here. You got the best run speed. You're a jogger. And you'll take off and go put that away. All right, Klaus did his job. He's going to bed. The pants, did they? Nope, they're still over here. Um, 34 work left. Okay. So with that, I guess we can call it a night. While they're doing that, I'm... Ooh, we've got a fancy meal. Fine meal. So the difference... It was... No nutrition on the simple meal was 0.9 also, wasn't it? There are no simple meals to to check out here. Uh, anybody carrying a simple meal? Gear. Right there. Simple meal. I. What do we have here? They're both 0.9 nutrition. Okay. Beauty negative four, deterior, flammability, hit points, market value, mass, nutrition, work to make. I'm not getting anything here that tells me why it's better than a fine meal. I really thought that I would. Fine meal, and I, um, nutrition, work to make, mass, market, hit, flammable, deterior, and beauty. It doesn't tell me why it's better eating it i think will it'll show you in their needs you know in fact let's do it right here someone just grab one klaus let's watch what happens here they don't get any kind of a bonus when they eat a normal meal but are we gonna see now he just got ugly environment or something ate a fine meal plus five all right so he'll get a plus five for that whereas a simple meal they don't get a plus anything if i'm correct and then you get into the even better meal. It's probably we're probably gonna find something like a plus fifteen or so. All right, so that's how that works. I have to remind myself. I haven't played this, uh, you know, with any uh, consistency since Alpha thirteen. So kind of reminding myself that Sienna is pregnant. Interesting. So do we get a notice here? We don't. Go to health and pregnant. Middle stage. So she's been pregnant for a while. We just now noticed it. Okay. Cool. And I did release them, right? Yeah, they're in unrestricted. Okay. So Rabbit's done with his work. Let's see this up here. There we go. So Daffodil, Daylily. And then two meals are over here. There were three. Did Handy eat one? <laughs> and if they're up in this area when they're hungry, they'll walk in, grab a meal, and, and eat it. I'm pretty sure that they'll help themselves, too. Meals, a meal, a meal. These need to get hauled in. This is the, what uh, 
Um, I thought that would be 30. But this is this came out of the ship parts. Uh, this guy. Right here. So I thought it was 30 and 8. Maybe they've stolen 8 to make something. And nothing over here takes metal. So, Amelia in a bed with a end table. Extremely comfortable. 8. Okay. And beds, we need to think about getting something set up down in here. Where do we want Tomislav? And we got to clean out the junk out of here, too. Let's install this bed over in Tomislav's room and make it a hospital bed when he gets done. He'll be, he'll have in his room the bed where, where there's a patient, if that's necessary. And boy. Where do we put the medicine? Right now it's just kind of stuck over there in that other storage place. I could stick it here with him, but odds are he's not going to be in his room when he gets the call to, to help somebody who's injured. We just don't have a medical facility yet. We don't. Where am I now? About 35 minutes into this, something like that. Okay. I'm going to look down my list while they're sleeping. Um, harvest herbal medicines. These guys are getting close. 95, 96%. I did queue up quite a few herbals out in here. So it's just a matter of somebody getting the command to go do it. Which is the cut command? Which we had somebody set up. Cut. Plant. Now they're just twos. Rabbit. It's probably the best one to go do that. Let's have him. That's mine. Let's try that again. Cut plant one. Okay. You're mining back down. What is your mining at? You're at a six... But you've got other jobs to do. Okay. So, yeah. Plant cut. To see if you can come out and get all these. Hopefully somebody will come back and haul them. Speaking of hauling, we had two set to clean. Let's change that to Tomislav for now. And let's get... Let's see. Shantigo's going to be making meals. Sangria is already set for one and haul. Okay. Hopefully she'll come around and pick up these as they, uh, as they get uh, harvested so they don't sit out here for too long. Um, this one's been here for quite some time, so we do need to get that one done. Now, speaking of cotton, ooh, are you? No, you're just, you're 65%, so we're, we're more than halfway. You're at 52, so we're more than 60% maybe is when that came up. Maybe there's groups of 20s, five different, uh, different photos there or pictures. Tomislav is cleaning, and what can I get you to do? do. You're no longer on mining. Nobody is on mining anymore, and this isn't getting mined out. So, Tomasov, you're, you're going to go wake up everybody trying to clean. Okay. That's not going to work. <laughs> Alright, work. Um, let's take you off your, your cleaning and set you back to mining, which means your first one is research. I do want to get a research table going, but uh, your first two comes in over here at construction and then mining is a three you're a four uh you're a four at mining mining we want shantigo when he's not cooking to do mining cooking meaning 37 we're gonna be making a lot of fine meals now he's gonna be busy now so i need someone else to do some mining rabbit really it comes back to you plant cutting is gonna you're gonna be doing that forever Okay, so that goes back down. I need mining to be your next number two after hunting. And we haven't queued up any more hunting right now, though I do need to do that. Um, let's take you down a notch. We'll let Klaus do the hunting for now. And I need someone else to tackle plant cutting. That could be Tomislav. We could do that. Have him do that for a while, then we'll get back to... Uh, sangria. No, we'll get to, we'll get back to cleaning at some point. It's not that critical now. We've cleaned up a lot of the area. Once this flooring goes in, the beauty's going to go up a little bit over here. And yeah, we'll just let that go. Okay, how's the temperature in here? We are 21 degrees, so meat is frozen and will not spoil. So as long as we're below freezing, it cancels out any countdown that was going on. I see we did get the. Uh, the daylilies planted in some of these. Good. Okay. Which is adding beauty to the room. Let's check out the room in general. P 
Uh, this room, beauty here is a 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.3. Otherwise, we're a negative 3 and negative 1. We still have the septa hall away. Out here, it's dark. We should... Well, don't truly need a light in here, but uh, it'd be nice if we can get that. What is the rating by comparison to over here? Here we're a 0 0.8. So this is our, the best room in the house right now is our prison. Great. <laughs> now, don't say we don't treat you well as a prisoner over here. Um, so we could stand to do a little more sprucing up these rooms. These rooms are just temporary. They're just meant to hold us until we get into here, which is probably another episode or two. And we need to start mapping this whole thing out and then slowly releasing certain parts of it. You know, the first six bedrooms and the kitchen and uh, communications. We need to get that going. I need a room for research and communications. We could kind of do that right now. Probably so. Is there anything specific I need to get them doing? Uh, Shantigo, you are consuming a fine meal. I'll leave you alone. Sangria, you're hauling. Let's have you haul this one in. It's interesting. They tend to want to haul um, uh, prey or uh, hunted animals first, which is actually a pretty good thing. Get them in before they go bad. Do that one and then do that one. Oh, I see. I've got to do that. That one. That one. How far can I go with this? Okay. That's all the the stuff that we need out of here. Then you can take off and do the other ones. Mega Scarab. Tomislav is working on that. Mega Scarab. Who is still left out here? Oh, we never got back to here. Oh. Interesting. It's not producing bugs. But it's kicking out all this great stuff. Huh. That's a good discovery. The question is, will it start randomly produce, reproducing bugs later? Let me know what you know about that. And what you know about it in beta 18. I don't know what has changed from what you're used to in 16 and 17. So... Interesting. I thought for sure that was going to start kicking up bugs and we need to get rid of it, but I never got back up here to do this. Or to unforbid that one so we can sell it someday. Okay. But I wanted these cleaned out. That was important. There's nothing else real important to do here. I do need to get some more hides of some kind. You are raccoon. You are rat leather. You are squirrel skin. Because we're still a long ways to go before these guys are ready. 66, there's cotton there, and there was cotton here. Uh, 60, okay. So I need to get something that's got a lot of fur and leather potential to it. 180 meat and leather amount 50. There's a t-shirt right there. <laughs> anyway, um, pigs would do it. They could possibly revolt on us. Pig running speed is... Five. You can outrun all of us. Hmm. Interesting. We have a lot of rats on the uh, on the map. We really do. And I'm not worried about bugs anymore. Unless that thing starts reproducing and I don't know about it. But if I were to click you, zoom out uh, to like that. Four rats is all, huh? And some are probably down in here. Hmm. What if, Klaus, what are you doing? You're going for a walk. Needs, your joy's pretty much back to normal. Let's have you take out some of these little critters here, but in a carefully orchestrated manner. Let's have you take out that one, fire it here. And I guess the turtle afterwards. Okay, and... Hmm. Handy, you are consuming berry. Consuming berries? We don't have a meal? Handy. Over here and... Handy. Handy. Come over here and just grab a meal. You'll do so much better. Klaus. Hmm. Alright, we'll take you off of this and have you... In shock due to pain. Yeah. Not, not rescue. Let's have... You, oh, are you still... 
Why can't I have you hunt it? Because not mar not marked for hunting. Oh, okay. Right there and hunt him and finish him off. These guys are too close to the solar panel. He'll just shoot these up big time. So I don't want him to go after them. But I do want to get rid of all these little little critters out here because they're eating our garden. So I want to make that happen, but I don't want to do it in a way that causes mass destruction to our, our base here. All right, so the rabbits over here, really just one rabbit over here, and you're right in our pathway where you could accidentally shoot somebody else. You are going to spoil in a day, so I should get somebody. Sangria, you are doing all those other jobs. I guess afterward I can... I can shift click and have you grab this one. Haul. Okay, do that one too. After that one and that one. So, how's your food? Am I short uh, cutting your needs? Getting there. I think you'll be fine. You'll come in. What's your uh, your mood right right like right now? Yeah, I think you're gonna be fine. You'll get those. You'll grab a meal right at the last minute, and that'll give. Uh, uh, Shantigo time to make some more meals too. Speaking of, where's he at? Right here. You're doing that again, aren't you? Really, what's in here? All of this is here, but you're going up there to get five berries. What am I missing here? That is certainly closer. Okay, won't spoil. I was going to say they're fresher than these. These may have degraded a little bit, and these were just picked, so they haven't. There's a 55 of 60, 57. I'm thinking that he would naturally want to go for the, the, the best quality first, which would be the 59, which is probably where he took it from. This isn't a stack of 20 anymore. Hmm, I don't know that answer. Rabbit, you are harvesting heel root. Let's have you bring in a bunch of these. They can carry 75 at a time or at 51, but they can only carry one type at a time. So he won't be able to finish it off with rice. But let's get these in. <laughs> I don't want him running up there to get five anymore if I can avoid it. All right, now you are officially relaxing socially. Okay, Rabbit, you are taking a fine meal. Then you're going back to harvest more of these. Let's have you instead haul these in. Okay, you'll haul those. Who else can do some hauling besides Sangria? Shantigo, you are resting until we're... I always lose that time. I wish the time was up here. Now, you're resting. Because your joy must have hit something down here. And you do have mood issues, so better leave you alone. Now, you're with Handy. You aren't going to get rebuffed again, are you? You said hi. Okay. We weren't trying to uh, to woo her. Good. Okay, this works. All right, Andy, how about you jump in here and haul some of these for me too? Uh, right there. Okay. Anyway, let's think about a room that will let us put in a research table and a communication system. So we're looking at miscellaneous for the communications or comms console and an orbital trader. So this will send a message through the orbital trader in a stockpile area, like over here, up to orbital uh, traders that will come down and trade with us and possibly buy some of the things we have for sale and we can buy things from them with our 1,000 silver, which, right there? Yeah, yeah, so that's that. And then research, production, simple research bench. So that is a one, two, three, that's a two by three. And the comms console miscellaneous is a two by three also. So a couple of two by threes with a door in the middle is kind of what I'm looking at here. Um, I paused it because I want to think about this and I know RimWorld. As soon as I you know, start pondering something, there'll be some kind of a klaxon going off over here and, and the world will come to an end. <sighs> door here structure so if the door was there we came across like so I was going to say we could make a room that's just big enough to do this 2 by 3 2 by 3 chair chair door but they're going to have such a confined space that they're going to hate being there for hours on end running the research 
So Tomislav is going to be cracking on us if we do that. So that's not going to work. I, my boy, I hate to take up much more space here in case we decide to do anything else with this area. Don't necessarily have something else to do with this area, though. That's the right width. Let's just add something like that. Though we could door through there. Let them travel this way. For that matter, we can door right through there, too. Okay, let's door at this point and door at this point. Because it seems to me that there was something, at least long ago, that the research table had to be inside. Let me see if that's still a thing. Production, research. Simple bench, low tech, scientific tools, research, work here, discover new things. Communications, console, miscellaneous. Um, no. I seem to remember getting warned one time this had to be inside of a room. One of these two. A pod launcher. Transport pod. Now, there are a couple of pieces of research that I went ahead and threw in with the role-playing intent that Handy or some of these would have come with some skills on their own. So we're not starting a truly vanilla start here. There are a few research uh, categories that are already accomplished because I didn't know how soon I wanted to set up a second colony, if that was going to be an immediate thing or it was going to be an eventual thing. So I got rid of, of you know, having to wait for 59 episodes to finally get the transport system up and running in case we, that was going to just ruin the chances of being able to do that. So that I threw in on a couple other things. But uh, for the most part, most of the, of the research still has to be done. But let's set up a room like this. They can still walk through here. We'll set up a console down here and over here. I think that'll work. So Handy will get the order to do that, then we'll get those built. Um, I can put in the, the research. Uh, table, mental break and low food, okay. Research table right here, we can get that one going. Um, e that around, both at the bottom? Yeah, I think so. We'll do other things up in here. There we go, we'll, do, we'll get a penalty for being outside. They won't be outside eventually. In fact, we could end the penalty over here on these if I were to stick a wall through and a door, and a wall across and a door. So we could get rid of the penalty that's on all these if I made that a room. I'm not going to worry too much about it. But that's one way to, to min-max this thing if we really wanted to. Anyway, I've been at this for about 50 minutes. So let me go through the uh, through the, the list here. Remind myself what I need to do and haven't done. Let's get Klaus, who is putting bug meat inside. Alright, that's fine. What are you? You are turkey leather. The bug meat, what does it leave as far as a remnant uh, leather? They have a chitin. This guy has a chitinous shell. Klaus, hold off. I want you to get this bed moved. Do that so we can get that done. I want to get nightstands built. Uh, furniture. I want to get these things laid out for next time. Get you set up. Um, I'll put you there. And put you, I guess I can put it at the head of the bed like that. And we might eventually want another bed in one of these other rooms. That's all for the moment. That'll be a hospital bed. We need to get all these built. Andy is praying. Okay, she's on her 1400, her social hour. And that's one of the ways to, uh, uh, to gain social in here. Meditating also, you know, stargazing and watching the clouds and taking a walk, things like that. Um, otherwise, back to the list real quick before anything pops up. Move beds, add nightstands, got the bugs done, expand the freezer. We did as much as possible. Um, harvest the herbal medicines, research we're working on. Move the packaged meals. Is there yet a shirt or pants that have been made and not grabbed. I don't see one. Okay, so that's not a thing yet. And Handy hasn't gotten back to... She has. The pants are done, so... Did Sangria get them? She did. Turkey leather pants. Woohoo! Okay, she's set. So we still need to get one more of each of those made, and those will go over there to the prisoner. And then move the meals over to the prisoner, and... 
a medical bed in here. So I have got everything that was on my list. We just haven't accomplished them yet. So we can let this go for another couple of minutes and call this done. This battery bank did get completed, uh, or get got charged. I'm tempted to put in another one. Power, battery, one, no. Pause, um, cancel you. I want a wall in between. Okay, so let's just set up some mining orders for next time. So mine out, I want to put them here to here. Actually, a wall, a walkway, so here to here. Like that, so a wall, a walkway, battery. We can cancel this part. Okay, and then mine out this area. I want wiring to go through and choose either from here or from here. It's kind of it's kind of an awkward way to do this. It is an awkward way to do this. Hmm. Actually, I just want another bank over here, a wire going through a switch to it and not connecting to the loop. This switch didn't need to be here. Okay. So power will come down from here and go into this bank over here. This bank will be on all the time. If something goes wrong with it, we have a short, which I'm surprised hasn't happened yet. That should happen soon. That's, that's an early game uh, thing that happens. Drains all the power that's in there. And the more batteries you have connected to this, the bigger the, the explosion when something shorts. And that short could be anywhere. Anywhere there's a conduit, it can short out. And it'll drain all of this. You can flip the switch, take the power that's in the other bank. It'll start supplying power to everything, like our freezer. And this one will gradually... Um, Build, uh, build his power back up again, then we can you know, shut this one down and store it again when we're up and running again. But it will short out, blow a hole in the wall, injure anybody near it, and light everything on fire. So that could be a significant event when it happens. But let's take those out and we'll, uh, we'll make that happen next time. And I did need to get those components in. Let's see. Right over there. Okay. So handy... You've got a good run speed. Let's have you instead. Haul. Ah, we don't need the steel. Haul that and that. Um, that didn't get done. Those didn't get done. So there's nothing else out here rotting. Right? I think so. So just the one. You still... Okay. That's new. Not reproducing due for maintenance. Alright, what is going on here? A hive of giant insects will spawn additional insects and hives over time. Due for maintenance. By the bugs? <laughs> hmm. Alright, I think that's a good stopping point. What's going on with that? Let me know what you know about that. Yeah, I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.